Bonjour Thickums, Cardi here, and today we're going to be going over a video I made a long ass time ago, and I kind of want to make an updated guide on it, because I'm going to be honest guys, learning new things in video right now, I'm realizing that every guide is like 40,000 years old, and that was actually a pretty big update today to the HP and MP man of, or like potion, like infinite potion grind spots. Essentially what happened today is that these spots have doubled, uh, have doubled in respawn rate, and so the rotations for almost all of these I mean, you don't necessarily have to change, but you can get a lot more rotations out of every single area, especially considering the fact that realistically, most of the time you're going to be going to pity for these pieces anyways. And so splitting up the spots is going to make it a lot easier for a ton of new players who are grinding right now, because I know every content creator on the planet and every other veteran player is telling you new players to like go grind the MP, the HP spot or the MP pot or whatever it is. And so it is crazy, crazy, crazy oversaturated. And so I want to go through each and every single area and kind of make a little bit of a series that shows you guys the new rotations uh, and kind of the new optimal ways of farming them, as well as having other spots that may not be as optimal because maybe there'll be less mobs that drop the whole piece or whatever it is. But so that way, if you're stuck on a server and there's like no spots open, you at least have some rotations that you can farm because there's no like you're better off farming a rotation that might be slightly less optimal than sharing a rotation with someone else because that makes absolutely like zero sense. Before we jump into however, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. Like the videos if you like them, help support me a ton. Check me out on Twitch because I am already live as you're hearing my voice right now. Click that link in the description box down below. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's full of a bunch of incredible cuties. If you're looking to hang out with, chat with, play some video games with, I would highly recommend it. Let's jump into this video, baby. So like I had mentioned, this video is going to be separated by area. I didn't want to make one long, like three hour video. I feel like, and I'm going to use myself as an example here, guys. There is so many like four hour, like video dump videos for this game. I'm going to separate each video by location so I can go into depth on each rotation, show you guys every single rotation that I found uh, to kind of help you guys understand how to do each one efficiently. All right, so to begin the first spot, the way you can orient yourself is just come to the actual node manager. When you click uh, Blood Wolves, just click the actual node manager. It's this sexy looking wolf over here. And then you're just kind of gonna come down the stairs. Now this used to be a rotation, but you had to like extend it. It wasn't very good because I mean, there weren't pretty pieces. And on top of that, it was really like tiny. So you'd have to like extend it and it was like really awkward and you have a, a long time where you couldn't kill stuff. But with the update, it's actually pretty good. So you're going to start at this pack right over here. You move over to this pack right over here. And then you go to these guys right here. You kill this whole pack here. So you just keep make you make like a little circle over here. Uh, you don't you just ignore the guys up there. You come here. You can ignore these guys as well. Kill these guys. Come back down. Okay, everything's aggro to me because I'm kind of doing it in a weird way. But you would kill this pack over here. You kill this pack down here. You kill these boys right here. And then you reset. The rotation is extremely small. Each pack is very mob dense. This might not be the absolute best rotation because you don't have a ton of executioners, but most packs have like one or two, which is pretty good. Um, again, this is like a super small rotation. Very, very easy to learn. You're just essentially running a small circle to go over it again. You do hit this one over here. You hit this one over here. You grab this big pack right over here. You kill this long pack here, ignore the little wolves on the stage. Then you come up here. If you have a lot of movement, I would just ignore that. Kill these guys, and then these guys. Then on the way back down, you kill these guys, because you're going to be coming back here. You kill these dudes. You kill these guys that are just praying, because again, there's pity pieces, so even though there's no executioners here, this is still some pity pieces. And you reset. I tested this at full speed on my Zerker, who is way above the gear requirement for the spot. And uh, I did not run into, like, I actually was not able to over farm it. You can actually run this spot perfectly. You don't need to extend it or anything. It's a really small, really simple location. And it's going to help kind of pull players away from all fighting over the same spots. Now, for the second rotation, uh, we're going to, again, orient ourselves on the actual node manager. You just click this little exclamation mark. You're going to have the sexy wolf lying down. Uh, a lot of you probably have a flying horse, so you can literally just fly off the edge here because we're going to be actually going down here. We're going to be going down there. But in case you don't have it, in case depending on when you're watching this video, you don't have this, this is how you get there normally. So you come down this path here. You're going to notice the first rotation that I just showed you guys in the video. You take a little left and then you just kind of go down the stairs when you see the water. So you see this, there's a little fallen tree. You come down the staircase. And then you're going to park your horse 
right over here. Now you'll notice this from the old video because this is the old main rotation, but because of how fast the mobs respawn, this rotation can now be split into two. I'm gonna be calling this a upper rotation, which farms this entire side and a lower rotation, which farms this entire side. All right, boys, so this is going to be for the lower rotation. So your horse is on this little hill where you parked it, and then you're gonna come down here. So this pack, you can just kill it on the way for the first rotation, but you don't really need it. The first pack could, would start right here. So you have these guys over here. You kill them, I'm spinning way too much. You can kill these guys right here. You cross the river, you clear this pack, and then you come back down. You're gonna be going towards these guys over here. If you want to extend, you can also go down here. You don't really need to, but if you're like really, really clearing fast, so you're playing like Awakening Nova or something, you can clear this pack down here and then just come up to these guys here. Kill these guys. Kill this pack here. You kill this pack here. You kill these Schmegma Lords and that's it. You just reset and then you just go back down to these guys and you do that all over again. Again, you could also grab this little pack here. There's just like a couple mobs. If you want to grab it, you can grab this and then go down. But again, very, very simple rotation to go through it again. You start on, you could start on this pack right here. There's going to be like a little like cage and shit. Then you come down, you kill these guys. There's going to be a pack right here. You go around the little mountain here. You grab these dudes. Then you cross the river with the little cave. You kill this pack. Then you come across, you come all the way down here. You kill these guys. If you want to extend, you can kill this pack right here. You don't have to go all the way up there, but just kill like, like this little pull here and this little pull here. And you could clean up that guys down there. And then you come all the way back up and kill these guys. You do this. This one. These bad boys. And that's it. And then you reset. And then you start back at this camp. So again, starting on the hill, this is your horse. Lower pack is down there. You're going to actually start over here. So you would start on this pack right here. So you start here. And then you kill these guys. You kill this pack here. You kill this pack here. There's a pack right here. And then you go up the staircase. And then you just clear everything up here. You clear these guys. You clear these guys. There's a bunch of executioners up here. There's just a bunch of mobs. You're going to be getting a good amount of pity pieces because it's good mob density. You kill these dudes right here. Kill this pack. And then you come back down. You kill this mob pack again. You come here. These guys respawn. And that's literally the rotation. These are all super, super, super fast. Again, it's this is like the respawn rate is insane. When you're coming back around, if you feel like you're going a little bit too fast, and like the top half here has respawned. What you could do instead is you can then just take the bottom path here and do this one instead. So I just want to show you guys the rotation one more time. Just so you can get an idea of what packs you want to kill. So there's a pack here. This is where you're, this is your starting point. You take this pack. You come here. You take this pack right here. You take this pack right here. You grab this pack right here. And then you dash through. You grab this pack right here. You go up the staircase. You clear everything up here. This pack, these two dudes. You bounce back and forth, kind of like a ping pong ball. These guys, these guys. Come here. You clear this pack. Clear these guys up here. You clear this big ass pack over here. We actually got the event right now. And that's it. And then you just reset right over here. Again, the like I was able to clear all these on my Berserker who was way above item level for this. I would be over clearing easily, but this new patch has made it a lot easier. So these next two spots are not the main rotation. The first areas I showed you are going to be a lot better, especially the one that was actually the main rotation that was cut in two. Uh, but these spots are kind of nice if you're just kind of like pushed out of like every other spot. If it's just like Saturday night, there's like a billion people farming this and you need some spots to just be able to farm and not have to farm on top of people or have to fight people for something or whatever. Uh, I would recommend trying these spots out. You can be kind of dynamic with this. You're going to have to play this a little bit by ear. I'm going to show you guys two different rotations. Depending the class you play, you might have to extend it. Uh, but I don't think these are going to be like as heavily contested as the main rotation. All right, gamers, this next set of rotations takes you to like a completely other area where a bunch of blood wolves uh, spawn. An easy way to orient yourself as to where to go. If you are coming from Duvencroon, if you just click on the node manager, it will actually take you through here. But if you're coming from a different spot or whatever it is, an easy way to find it is you're going to look for this area where all these uh, blood wolves are fighting humans. Uh, if you open the map, it looks like this. So it's literally right next to the abyssal well. 
So you're right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to follow the path into here. All right. So you're going to follow the path here. And you're going to notice there's going to be a big ass area here where there's a bunch of rotations. So you're going to come here. And then there's a shit ton of mobs here. And there's actually like two or three rotations I'm going to be able to do from here. So what the first thing I'm going to show you, you come a, bit, a little bit down the road. And once you see these things, you see that big rock and stuff, you can just park your horse right over here. And this is going to be where the rotation begins. All right, so you're going to start at these two statues over here. Uh, I, the way I actually started this, I just came kind of all the way up here. I clear this pack all the way through. Grab these guys up here. I like kind of thoroughly try to clear everything here. And then you can either go down the path or you come down these rocks. Come make a left at these three statues. You kill these guys. You go inside this little encampment. You clear this entire area. And then you just kind of do a small little rotation. You kill these dudes who are praying. These homies who are loafing. You come up here. Grab this pack here. Kill the homies down here. Kill these dudes which were like right next to the road. And that's pretty much it. That's the rotation. Just to show it to you guys again. You thoroughly clear this whole pack here. These two packs. You're going to come up the hill. You're going to kill this big pack up here. You come down the hill. You can come through the rocks if you want. If you have some movement. You clear these guys praying. You make a left into the camp. You clear this big ass camp of mobs. I'm just going to kill them because I won't be able to pass through. You kill these guys praying. You kill these guys Guys are sleeping. You make a right between these two rocks. You clear this camp. And these guys would be dead already usually. You clear these guys to the left. You come back down here. And that's literally the entire rotation. Now, if you feel like you're over farming this one, uh, doing this at full speed on my Zerker, I like was pretty much hitting each camp as it was respawning. I think only maybe a handful of classes might have trouble over farming this. I think just maybe like a Valk at most will probably be able to overclear this, but pretty much every single class should not be over farming on this spot. To orient yourself for the next piece, this is where you were before. This is the other rotation I just showed you guys. The next rotation is going to be back down the road from which you came. And you could just leave your horse right here. There's going to be a nice little pack right here with some, uh, some prisoners. You could just leave it on the road here somewhere. And there's going to be like a bit of a lower rotation. So there's the upper rotation up there, which you guys just saw. But for this one, you just grab all of these packs. So you start on this pack. You go to these dudes sitting down. You can kill these dudes praying. You grab these guys. You come up the hill a little bit. You grab these guys. And then you make a left here. Now, this pack in the back over here, like this pack here... I need to use this one to actually extend the rotation, but if you're not killing them that fast, you don't actually need to grab this pack because you, it's just like kind of out of the way. But if you need to extend the rotation, extend through them. You kill these guys and you come back up here. And then this is the rotation. Now you're back at the start. So just to go over it again, you start here. This is the road. You start right over here. You go towards their little like hut where they're chilling. You kill these guys over here. You kill these wolves again, because remember, pity pieces are the name of the game. Mob density is important. You kill this pack right here. You kill these guys right over here. Go down to the little shelf. You clear these guys over here. And then you're going to make a little run, sticking to the left. You clear these guys. Like I said, this pack down here, this is an extender. If you feel like you're clearing really fast, come kill these guys. And then you come back up, clear these guys over here. And then you go back up to this, these guys over here. You kill, kill these wolves. And then this is the beginning of that rotation. And so this whole new area actually is split into two extra rotations that you can be doing. Cuties, I really do hope that you found this helpful. Uh, for a lot of these places, I just kind of took a old rotation and kind of like split it apart. I kind of wanted to see how much I can dissect them to make new rotations for new players. Just because even trying to find like empty spots to film this video was kind of insane. There is so many people on these spots. But like I mentioned throughout the video, if you feel like you are over farming, just start throwing some mobs into the rotation. And none of this stuff is meant to be like set in stone. You are not allowed to farm more, more mobs or whatever it is. You know, these used to be their own full rotation, right? They used to just be like two and a half kind of big rotations for blood wolves now you can get like around five so there's a lot more room for players to farm and i also kind of want to put something like this into the algorithm because the more players start to understand these new rotations 
I think it's going to give a lot more room for people to actually farm because even, even as I was grinding this and I started to look at the other areas to figure out how I can split them apart and stuff, I noticed a lot of people were still doing these like massive, massive, massive old rotations based off the old spawn rate. And so I think it's going to be a lot easier for everyone to get their potion pieces if people start to try and like, like condense all of their rotations. I appreciate you guys watching today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. As I mentioned before, this is probably going to be like a six part series just because there's six potion pieces to grind. <laughs> I'm going to be practicing a bunch of different locations and trying to look at the pros and the cons of each one. Uh, so that way, you know, you can have like an entire playlist of how to farm every single potion piece. And that way it's not just like one video that everyone's using the same video and using the same spot and it just becomes super cancer for people to farm it. I'm gonna try and get these out as fast as I can. It'll probably take me into next week to film these because I'm gonna do one per day. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna leave me a little, a little smiley face or an eggplant emoji or something. Uh, check me out on Twitch. If you guys have any questions, always feel free to stop by my live streams. I'm streaming six days a week, so I should probably, I'm gonna be honest, I stream a lot. I stream like literally 12 hours a day. So you should catch me live. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much for taking some time to hang out with me. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.